I grew up actually near the sea. We used to go to the seaside and build sand castles, lounge around. I like just seeing the waves. It's a very calming situation that makes me very relaxed. So that's why I love the ocean. And a game for England, Team A, B. I've always been motivated by challenges, and this was something that we thought we'd have to go for. We've been working on pH sensors for quite a while. So about a year ago, it was the start of 2014, he came in and said, oh, there's an X-Prize competition. The Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X-Prize competition is a prize to develop pH sensors which can accurately, reliably and affordably determine the ocean's pH. Ocean acidification occurs because carbon dioxide in the air dissolves into the ocean's waters. This has the effect of lowering the pH. This has a big effect on the marine life, uh, marine culture, because a lot of these lives are tailored towards the ocean pH as it is now. It is nice to be actually thinking that maybe we could monitor the oceans, maybe we could make a difference. We thought, let's go for it, let's give it a try, let's see what we can do, and let's push ourselves to the limit. Our biggest mistake was we thought that once we entered, we'd have about a year to develop our sensor. But then we found out that we'd have to produce a prototype within the next two weeks. We knew the chemistry we wanted, but that was about it. Between me and my colleague here, we uh, manufactured the main parts. This is what we do. It's our little domain. Life briefed us about the sort of parameters of the job, really. And we we're up against it time-wise time to a certain extent. So we both put uh, extra hours in for it and produce the, uh, the end product, which is invariably fine and dandy, isn't it? Yes, you know, yeah. it, you know, no complaints yet. We so. don't get many complaints. It really was running against the clock, and as we got closer to the deadline, the late nights got later and later. For about two weeks, they worked on weekends, day and night, until the Friday. They were too tired to even put the actual sensor in the box. So I said, let's just put some, hey guys, we'll put some packing stuff around this to make sure it gets out there. But the, the, the energy was just great. They were, they were just so excited. Were you worried at all? Yeah. <laughs> Initially we said, oh, it'd be great to get accepted. What the idea was, was to get through the first two phases. To get into phase 2B was, was great. And then the results were coming in and they were just great. Phase 3, we thought that was it. And we're more than happy with our achievement. And then to get the call from the XPRIZE team regarding phase 4, well, yeah, it couldn't be completely, I was, I think, gobsmacked by that, <laughs> that call. The whole team was just in shock, yeah. They did it. You know, and, and it worked and everything had come together. We're Team A and B and we're ready for Phase 4. I enjoyed the Hawaii trip immensely. i would never been sort of on field trials. All now he comes back with his pictures of sunsets, pictures of the ocean, how blue it is. And then the emails when we went to depth. We hit 250 metres, we hit 500 metres and the email just coming in, we're still there. And everyone was checking, are you still there? We're, like, we're still there. And then when 2,000 metres came, we're like, no, 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 no. How's the device working? Uh, we're nervous. We said goodbye to the centre, but we don't know if it's going to come back. <laughs> How deep do you want to go tomorrow? <laughs> I want to go all the way. <laughs> right yeah. The best thing for us was coming out from 2,000 metres and having full data. The most memorable bit was probably opening the sensor after the 3,000 metre drop. Uh, so the pressure crushed the housing and it crushed the battery. So this is the effect. We've got some data there. It's not too bad. To get those sort of quality people together is just fantastic. It's a privilege to work with sort of very young, enthusiastic guys willing to sort of implement what I thought was really rather a clever piece of chemistry and do something useful with it. This has been the sort of exciting that you hope science is going to be. The learning curve has been steep, but it's been so worth it. Most definitely the X Prize has been a complete success for the team and the competition has brought us together. <laughs>